Hey everyone, what's up? Today I want to share with you the mindsets that I'm using in order to succeed faster. And it's not an easy thing. I'm still struggling with this, but I'm, I'm really working hard. And over the past few months, it's been really, really effective in helping me, uh, you know, grow my business and, and succeed much faster and I want to share this with you. So let's start with a story from like a few days ago. A few days ago, um, my, my computer mouse, my laptop mouse uh, went broken and I had to get a new one. So there's a shop down the street so I was like, hey, it's 10 minutes with the bicycle. So I was like riding there, got there, asked for the mouse, he gave it to me. I was like, okay, here's the credit card and he told me, do you have an ID? now? I live in Israel, usually they don't ask us for an ID when we are paying with credit card. And I was like, I don't have my ID on me, it's in the office. And he was like, okay, sorry, so I can't sell this to you. I'm like, ah, dude, come on, it took me like 20 minutes to get here. I don't want to go back, go back to the office. And he was like, sorry, I can't do it. It's like, maybe I can show you on the, on like a, a copy of my ID on my cell phone. No, nothing. So my first, <laughs> my first uh, reaction was to get pissed. That loser, you know, salesman, he just lost a sale. Uh, you know, uh, I, why wouldn't he do that? He's like, I don't know, I was just pissed. And then I was like rethinking and I was saying to myself, wait, you just lost one hour, you know, going to the store, talking to him, going back, and now you're considering about going, getting the idea and losing another hour. Now, here's, here's where this is completely bad for me. I'm now working to m make my effective hourly rate $500 per hour, okay? so. I'm not there yet, I'm more around like $300 per hour, but that's the goal that I'm working on. So every hour that I'm working on my business has to produce $500 in value. That's the mindset that I'm thinking of right now. And I'm thinking about, I just lost $500 by not doing work, but just going to the shop and, and doing something technical as getting a out. And now I'm about to lose another $500 by doing that same thing. Again, that's really, really silly. So I just went back to the office, went online, uh, you know, paid $20 extra or something for, for shipping and just had it delivered to my office within like a day or two. Now, here's where I'm still struggling with this, but this is the mindset that I'm working on right now to change because, you know, I'm always worried about price. You know, I don't want to pay for something that I don't have to pay for. You know, I'm not coming from a rich family. So I was, I'm always, you know, conscious about, hey, why would I pay for this if I don't have to pay for this? And that's like how I was grown up, growing up. But at this point in my career, I, I'm realizing that this mindset can really be limiting for me and hurt me from really succeeding and focusing on what impacts my my growth and my business because as i was telling you what's twenty dollar like twenty dollar to pay extra for shipping or whatever instead of wasting an hour or potentially even two hours on f physically going there and that's a mindset that i'm working on right now and a lot of things are actually changing because i'm thinking about this i'm eating outside so at the beginning i was eating outside lunch every day at the restaurant i was like oh i'm wasting a lot of money but now i'm thinking about it. like five years ago four years ago when i was a freelancer i would cook myself lunch at home it would take me like an hour and then i would sit down and eat it it would be cheaper but now i'm thinking about cooking lunch for one hour like does that worth 300 to 500 dollars no, it's better for me to pay somebody to cook it. I'll just go there, eat it, and, and go back to focusing on my own work. And it, it comes down to two or one idea that, it's actually two ideas that I heard from different people. The, one of them was that if, you know, if there's something that you can pay money to succeed faster, then you should do this. And he was saying this um, around books. So like if, there's going to be one idea in a book that's going to you know impact your life somehow then of course it's worth you know spending 15 15 dollars for a book or no matter how much a book costs so never think twice about you know buying a book because if there's only one idea in it think about how much it can impact your life and from somebody else i i um 
I heard the quote that you should just buy success. So if some people are already successful, why would you waste time on trying to learn and figure out everything that you know took them years to understand? If you can get access to them and you can learn directly from them, this will really shortcut your your way to success. And this is also an idea I heard from Tim Ferriss, who's kind of like, you know, in this meta learning thing and how can I learn things faster? And he also talks about how, you know, being next to people who are already did it is something that really helps you get to where you want to get faster. And so recently in the last few months, and I've been sharing this a lot on the YouTube, I'm spending a lot of money to shortcut my success. So instead of figuring out how to run a business better, just hire a business coach, which is expensive. I'm paying like $2,500 per month, who's, you know, he knows business, he's been there before, he done that, and he can show me how to do this faster and how to get better results faster. So yeah, it's expensive, but it will help me get to a point where it's, you know, it, it pays itself back. And now I'm, I'm like buying online courses like this right now, $300, okay, $2,000, okay, because if it's going to just save me, again, one hour, right if an idea is going to save me one hour it's going to pay 500 dollars back if it's, and probably if there's a good idea there then it's not going to save me one hour it's going to save me 10 hours it's going to save me a hundred hours of, um, of trying to figure that out on my own and i know that for example on the futures business camp which cost me two thousand dollars it was at, at the time this was like the, the most expensive course i ever took but i think already paid itself back in just like all the knowledge that was like structured to me and also how to handle client conversation and also the practicing and the role playing. So in that sense, you know, just the amount of client work that I would lose or potentially not charge high enough because I didn't have those skills. It's just, it's a no brainer. As I said, this is a transformation that I'm doing right now and it's not easy because this is how I was growing up and it's not always clear if this is an expense or this is an investment that's going to save me time and, and you know, return itself multiple times. But I'm since I've changed that mindset and started to invest heavily, I can really see, you know, my trajectory flying off the roof. And so I hope you will think about this and think, what can I do today to shortcut my process and, and my success to where I want to be? And I know specifically that, you know, that's part of the reason why I've created the Web, Webflow Masterclass is to help you shortcut all the process that I took when learning Webflow for the past four years. So it doesn't have to take you four years. It can take you a month or two months to become a master and, you know, the returns will be incredible. So if you were thinking about learning Webflow and you were worried about should I do this on my own should I learn I think this can really short at your success and there is a special offer until September 4th so check the link in the description have an awesome day I'll see you next week